What's going on guys? It's Micah with Clear Creek RVs. Today we're going to be looking at another unit. We've got an Imagine Aim here. This is of course from Grand Design. This is one of their newer series. It's a uh, single axle Imagine series. So we'll start by taking a look at the outside. Of course you've got your spot for your propane and you can mount your battery just behind it here. Of course I got a jumper box hooked up to it right now. And then uh, your electric tongue jack which is nice. A lot of the smaller units that are kind of the single axle shorter trailers will have a manual crank so having the electric tongue jack is a good deal there. And you've got your docking station here for your city water connection, your outdoor shower which you can see does come with a spray nozzle that they've got hooked up to it right here. Uh, it's worth noting that in the 2024 Grand Design products with the Imagines uh, you're going to see the tough ply through the pass-through storage right in here. That's a TPO material, but it's basically just going to be a little bit nicer than the vinyl and keep it from getting kind of scratched up and dinged up in there while you're traveling on the road. So there we go. You got a single slide on this side of the camper. That's going to be a seating area on the inside there. And you've also got a little bit of storage. This is the 18BH model. I meant to mention that at the beginning. So it's got a bunkhouse in it and there's a little bit of storage on the outside right there from the bunkhouse that they're utilizing on the inside. Uh, tankless water heaters, which is standard on all Grand Design products now, so especially on any of the Imagines, even on the AIM, they're still using the tankless water heater. So here's your uh, black and gray tank, and then of course the dump station right there. I like the way they have them mounted with the Grand Design, so it's a little easier to access instead of climbing way up under the unit. Of course your ladder, so you can access your roof. It is going to be a fully walkable roof with solar panel installed at the top there. And then uh, they've got receiver hitches on all of your Imagines, your 2024s. A little bit of a smaller one, I believe it's one and a quarter inch. Might have to double check that. It's either one and a quarter or one and a half. But uh, that way you can use it for kind of an accessory of some type. So quick connect spray port right here, just cold water. And then of course your 30 amp power connection right there. Okay, close this up. We'll check this side of the camper. You do actually have an outdoor griddle. And then that's going to be right under your awning up top here, which I've opened up just a little bit. And you'll see we've got the awning light turned on as well. So here's kind of this shot of it. Of course, stabilizing jacks. They use the scissor jacks on all their travel trailers. Rear and front of the unit on both sides so that way it'll keep it nice and stable while you're standing inside there. But speaking of the inside, so as we walk inside to the right, here's your bed arrangement and I'm going to get a better shot of that here in a sec. Close this door and then over to the left you have the rest of the unit. Now I like this floor plan specifically because of this setup right here. This is kind of one of my favorite things about it. You got your bar stools so it's kind of a non-traditional dining area instead of having a dinette with a collapsible table you just have these bar stools which i think is a lot of fun so your tv right there then of course in the 2024s it may be kind of hard to see this on the camera but you'll see those light strips going across instead of those little button lights they've got light strips and right next to your control panel here you've got a dimmer so you can take that light and bring it down that may be kind of hard to see on camera but hopefully you guys can see that a little bit i'm going to turn it actually back up then of course your AC 15K BTUs. So your bedding arrangement in the front here, you still have your spot on either side for hanging storage. Still got your solid wood construction as you can expect from your Grand Design products. And then basically this uh, couch here, I'm just gonna fold around. Bear with me while I do this one-handed guys. But uh, you got a pin right up here. I'll pull this pin and then take the bed down and of course you'll notice you do still have your outlet and USB on either side of the bed little cubby areas there and a reading lights up top and a little bit of storage up top as well so in the aims you've got your amenities stripped down a little bit to kind of get you to that lower price point but you still have a decent size 12 volt fridge still got a couple of burners here just open that up quickly for y'all. There you go. And then uh, a convection microwave, which I think is a super nice deal. I just got an air fryer from my house recently and 
looking into the convection microwave. So this is a sink right here, just a little fold up sink. Again, just going for the, the compact, small design that's in the Ames, but still plenty of storage, so it's still the same kind of bones, same kind of construction, keeping your heat ducts off your flooring so they're not collecting dust and crumbs and wearing out over time. And then here's your bunks, just like that. Of course, I've got the blackout shades pulled down just for a little bit better lighting in here for the camera. There's your shower. And fold down sink right there and your mirror. So again, small unit. I believe this one's about 22, 23 foot. I might check that on our spec sheet over here. Yeah, it's going to be 21 foot, 11 inches. But uh, that's the unit right there. We'll give one more shot here. And that is the Grand Design. This is a 2024 Grand Design Imagine AIM 18BH. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you guys on another video.